my God friend's response review on an extremely sad and somber note. And I am within the community guidelines, by the way, via YouTube. This is a response review video only. 12 shot dead. Paris, gunman on the loose, maybe is caught by now. But friends, what an alarming hour we're living in. And, you know, my concern always as a minister of the gospel, by the way, I am a minister of the gospel. You desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, go for it. Thank you very much. But my concern always is the topic of eternity. You know, certainly those people that were shot uh, today and killed, unfortunately, and you know, I do go out to uh, the people that are grieving and mourning this senseless tragedy of family members, but certainly those people never, ever thought that they were going to slip into what's called eternity. And, you know, eternity is without measure. I mean, we're spiritually created beings. You will never die. I will never die. And the inevitable is whether you live to be eight or a hundred and eight, we're all going to take our last breath one day. And certainly no one's found the fountain of youth under the sound of my voice. And when we do take our last breath, either we go up to heaven to a place that Jesus himself taught about in the Bible or a place that he also taught about called hell. And hopefully I'm scaring the hell out of some of you. But the reality, friends, is we all have a free will. We can accept Christ out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. We control the doorknob to our heart. And once you do open the, your heart to the love of Christ, he will be faithful he will come in and fill it. And the Bible is very clear about the love of God. It says in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world, he gave as a gift his only Son, that if you would believe Christ and accept him, surrender, submit your life to him, you would never perish. You'd have everlasting and eternal life. And you know, God desires no one to perish. He wants us all to have the assurance and the insurance that when we do take our last breath, we're going to make heaven our home. And if you want to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Again, 12 people, Parish gunmen on the loose, uh, they shot dead in Paris. Oh my God, just so sad. I mean, the whole, the whole story is absolutely crazy. But friends, Christ loves you. God's got a massive, great, and a wild plan for your life. I want to check out any of the ministry videos under the search, Rob would one. I do elaborate, uh, talk about Christianity, the Bible, suicide, bullying, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Friends, trust in Jesus for your salvation. It's imperative we're covered from what Christ already did on the cross for our sins. Be blessed. The Lord loves you. Peace out.